What's going on YouTube? Taylor Prentice back here with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the week eight drop list for Supreme's uh, fall winter 2023 season, which is set to drop this Thursday, October 12th. So there are two collaborations for this week. One of them we've already seen the pieces for. That is the HR Geiger collaboration. Uh, I'm going to get into that stuff first, but we also have a Fox Racing collaboration that I'll get into at the end of the video. But anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, if you could hit that like and subscribe, it would help me out a lot. I cover all things Supreme and Palace and Kith and Bape when I feel like they have cool stuff going on. But anyways, we have a long video, a lot of pieces to get into, so let's just go ahead and get started. The first item we have here is a puffer jacket, as you guys can see. It is a jacquard knit, uh, so that is like an interesting way to work in the artwork it is like actually woven in there it's not just like a print or something like that it is water resistant we have the supreme branding there on the brim of the hood i like the style of this jacket you have the raglan sleeves uh you have some adjustability with the waist and it does look like the cuffs clinch up pretty well um but yeah this is just like alien-esque uh makes me think of like predator vs alien movies is what the artwork makes me think of i like the green one um it's cool that the hood is uh detachable and then we have this in a black and white as well i think the green one's a little bit cooler i think it just fits the vibe more um but obviously the black one is probably going to be easier to wear so these aren't something i would consider myself wearing but i do appreciate them here we've got another HR Geiger piece. So this is the embroidered work jacket. So on the front, pretty standard work jacket, nothing going on. But on the back, we have this crazy embroidered artwork. Definitely HR Geiger style, just super chaotic. Um, I'm not a huge fan of his artwork or his art style. I appreciate it, but like it's just not really for me. And then we have the HR Geiger branding above the artwork and then the Supreme branding there down below. I like this red. I think the red and black worked pretty well. Black and white usually goes pretty well. So I like the colorways on these. It does have a pocket on the left sleeve as well. But again, not really something for me. Uh, here we have just a sweater. So this is like a bunch of babies' faces like while they're still in the womb. Kind of uh, makes me uncomfortable to be honest. I Yeah, I kind of like it though. I don't know, it's weird. It gives me weird feelings. <laughs> Uh, and then the next thing we have is a raglan long sleeve top, another piece from HR Geiger. So this is a little too edgy for me. I really like the middle panel. I don't love the raglan sleeves and I don't love the branding on this piece. I do, I, I don't know, I think it could have, yeah, I don't know. It's not bad. Um, the more I look at it, the more I like it actually. I really like the imagery in the middle. It's just kind of weird, but pretty cool. And I do like the color blocking with the sleeve. So I don't know, maybe they made the right choice making it a raglan. Maybe I'm just up in the air on it. I think I like the white one more than the black one though. And then we have those same baby faces on a pair of uh, double knee denim. So these are cool. The double knee trend is crazy. Uh, I feel like having like artwork kind of printed into it adds on top of it. The babies still make me feel weird, but I do appreciate the like just production of this piece getting into the non-collaborative pieces here we have the handwriting jacquard denim shirt i think this one's pretty sick uh just makes me think of like something basquiat or like keith herring would wear for some reason i really like that like blue denim colorway but i would wear all three of these for sure then we have the digi short sleeve top so this is a print i thought it was an applique at first oh wait oh okay 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 so I guess it's a print and then the outlines are embroidered. I was gonna say, cause it looked like an applique on some other pieces, but that makes more sense. I really like this white one with the camo text. I think that one is a banger. The other ones are all right, um, but just not as cool as that one in my opinion. So yeah, this one, definite heat. Here are these satin applique hoodies. Uh, I am not too big of a fan of these. I actually like the black one more than the other ones just because it's a little bit subtle, but uh, just having a huge supreme thing go down your back is a little bit weird in my opinion i like the colors on these though but yeah not something i could see myself wearing uh, we also have these in sweatpants again just not really something i could see myself wearing just a little bit too in your face with the logo for me i do like the heather gray ones though it's a little bit more subtle with that white logo kind of blends into the heather gray and same with the black so if i were to get a pair of these sweatpants it would be one of those pairs but yeah the logo is just a little too big for me on those here we have the small box crew neck uh very standard very basic uh yeah i don't know i don't really love any of the colors on these 
I would wear the black one. I'm not really too big of a crew neck guy anyways, but yeah. I don't know. I feel like they could have done a better job with the colors on these, but they do kind of give off that like fall vibe, so it makes sense at the same time. Uh, getting into hats, we have some six panels here. So I'm not sure what this material is. It almost looks like it's like uh, wool or something. It's just washed flannel. Oh, it's flannel. <laughs> um, ew. Uh, it has a leather strap on the back. I think these hats are actually pretty sick. I really like all the colorways. I like how the black one has the green text. I like how the green one has the red text and the blue one has the red text as well. So yeah, I just thought these were super clean. Um, I like all the colorways on these and I'm not really a big hat guy, but they did a nice job with those uh, And then we have some twist beanies. I think these are cool as well I would probably wear all these I'm not a huge beanie guy and I don't wear them a lot. So like uh, I'm not super picky about my beanies, but like if I have one I kind of just wear it with whatever I have one supreme beanie that I got like Five years ago. I actually don't know where it's at, but it's about that time of year to pull it back out uh, and then getting into the last hat we have here, this is the Jesus piece. So this is pretty cool. It's just got a Jesus piece like floating on the right side of the hat. It has the S logo on front, has a Supreme branding on the very back. So yeah, I thought these were cool. Uh, definitely like fits into rap culture and stuff pretty well. So I'm sure we'll see, see some rappers wearing these. Getting into accessories, we have a floating keychain. These are cool. Um, I'm not gonna be ordering anything this week, I don't think. I think I'm just gonna set it out, but if I was ordering other pieces, I might get this as just an add-on because I do think they're pretty cool. Here we have these square mini towels. These are really sick. I would love to have these. Uh, they're probably gonna be expensive for what they are. They're made in Japan, so yeah. Uh, probably not gonna be cheap, but I do love these and would love, love, love to have these in my house. And then we have some cassette tapes. I uh, was not expecting that. This kind of goes on trend with the headphones I released earlier this season. Not really something that is meant for function, more of like just a display piece, but I think you can use it like functionally if you want to. I don't know anyone who has a cassette player, so interesting, but I, I respect it. And then getting into the Fox stuff. So this is all racing stuff. It is a collaboration with Fox. So keep in mind, I might be a little bit biased. I'm not really into racing stuff, but I do actually think this collaboration is pretty clean. So the first jacket we have here, just standard racing jacket. Um, I believe this is wind and, I don't wanna say waterproof, but maybe water resistant. Looks like it's gonna uh, splash the water right off if it drops onto it. We do have some 3M reflective piping here that you guys will see better in uh, image as I keep scrolling. Here on the back, we do have some branding, just Fox up top, Supreme down below. So yeah, overall, just clean. Uh, comes with an attachable hood, which is awesome. If you guys know me, I love jackets with hoods, and the fact that you can attach a hood to this just makes it that much better, in my opinion. We do have multiple colorways in this as well. So a blue and a black as well. I think the yellow one is the coolest. I think it just captures that racing aesthetic the most. Uh, it's a little bit standout-ish, but I think I like that for this piece. And yeah, here, oh, here, oh here 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 is the image of the 3m reflective piping so that's a cool detail i'm glad that uh supreme started to take photos like this following palace's suit because palace always uses the 3m photos um but supreme never used to do it uh here we have the pants so again uh just super on par for racing like if you want to get the whole set obviously it's going to match really well together i mean they were made to match each other but uh yeah just not really i don't know a situation where i would like wear racing pants if that makes sense we've got some pockets up top fox branding uh then just more branding on the sides i like how they've incorporated the supreme branding there so yeah cool pants uh again just not really something i could see myself wearing but i do appreciate them and uh, we do have more 3m piping here as well so staying reflective out there getting into the jerseys uh we have three colorways of this jersey as well so just typical racing jersey. I think this one's my favorite. Um, I like this like weird, it's like meaty looking design. I don't even know. But yeah, I think just cool. They just captured a cool piece here. Uh, I don't love like racing jerseys a lot of the time, but I thought this one was pretty clean. I think the black one's pretty clean too, and the blue one. Um, I do wish the black one like had the design in the background that the colored ones do. I think the blue one is a little bit cooler than the black one too. I think my favorite one though is this meaty one for lack of better term. And then uh, we do have some hats as well. So these kind of just fit the rest of the collaboration. I do like how we have the one hat with the meaty design on. I thought that was cool. 
Um, I think that one is probably the cleanest in my opinion. But they're all pretty pretty on par for this collaboration. And they do have the 3M piping as well. And then we do have some balaclavas. Um, yeah, these are cool. Definitely, I don't know, just everything fits really well. Uh, I feel like nothing in this collaboration was like in overreach. And I also don't feel like it was like under designed. So I feel like they did a really good job for it. Not stuff that really appeals to me per se, but I do, I do think they just did a really good job with it. And then the last thing we have is racing goggles. Do you guys remember when uh, like snowboarding goggles were really big and people were just wearing the Gucci like snow goggles for no reason or the ski mask or ski goggles, whatever you want to call them. That was an interesting time. Um, I think these ones are really cool. I really like the gradient on the one on the right. So I don't know, I don't have any use for these, but I do think they would be cool to have. And it will be weird if we ever see that trend come back where people are just wearing goggles like on top of their head or just for no reason. That was a funny, funny era. But that is gonna be it for this video. Like I said, lots of stuff. Um, I feel like it's a pretty decent week. There's not a stuff that really appeals to me, but I think a lot of the pieces are pretty good. If I were to get a piece, it would probably be this digital short sleeve top in the camo colorway. I think I just really liked that one. And the Jacquard denim shirt was pretty nice. But yeah, gonna be sending this week out. Let me know down below if you guys are planning on getting anything, but that is going to be it for this video. I am gonna drop a palace video later on today, so make sure to stay tuned for that if interested. But we will see you next time. Have a good one.